everybody in today's video i'm going to be talking about all the manicures i wore for the month of november i didn't wear a whole whole lot but there is some really good stuff in here to talk about so um let's get started this combination you guys is so good so this is pinup paints ursa and um if you all haven't passed out yet from looking at this let me tell you about it <laughs> It is like this beautiful sort of um, like a pinky tan kind of color. And then this green shimmer is like totally out of this world. It has so much shimmer in there. Everything you see on the bottle translates to the nail. And I feel like it may even translate better. Usually polishes are better in the bottle. And then when you put it on the nail, sometimes you can be disappointed. This is like opposite. I feel like it's amazing in the bottle. But then when you put it on the nail, like it might be even better. Great formula on this. Two coats to get opaque. Um, beautiful, beautiful polish. If you all have not tried pinup paint, I have several polishes from them that I do enjoy. Um, maker of this brand is really, really sweet. She also makes, um, eyeshadow palettes. I have a few of those as well, and they're very, very nice. And so, um, I just feel like this is a brand that I don't see a lot of people talking about. And, um, if you love a good shifty shimmery polish, like you definitely need this in your life. It's also sort of prugly, um, in the most beautifulest way. So, um, I had this little uh, matte black topper out on my polish desk for part of my Halloween rack. My friend Stacy Kazoo Beer Girl on Instagram sent me maybe like five toppers she had made. This was one of them. I hadn't tried it yet. So I saw it sitting there and I was only going to top like maybe accent nail, like ring finger thumb. When I put it on the ring finger, oh, I was totally blown away. I felt like it was so interesting. I decided to top all the nails. I was totally obsessed. I got a few compliments on this out in the real world. <laughs> and um, when you get real world compliments, like, you know, you got something good going on because I don't know about you guys. It happens to me, but not as often as I would like. That's all I'll say. So anyway, really good combo. I was really excited about this. I highly recommend this polish, you guys. Um, if you are into shifty shimmers, go get you this. Then I did a skittle with all of the Zoya Cafe cream polishes and the topper. Um, I was really excited when I saw the press releases for the Cafe Creams from Zoya. Um, I just felt like, oh, this looks very nice and warm and cozy. And um, I think I'm showing you guys, I got a little mug, <laughs> Cafe Creams. And it just reminded me the colors of like kind of sitting back, drinking some hot cocoa um, by a fireplace. I don't have a fireplace, but that's like what I vision in my head. Like that's where these polishes take me in my mind. Um, and I could just see myself, you know, in like these really comfy socks and a fuzzy sweater with my little mug. And I'm like drinking my hot chocolate, living my best life. Um, maybe my hot chocolate has some marsh marshmallows in it. And I have all these beautiful, um, cafe cream colored polishes on my nails so i put them on in a skittle and i topped them with a topper that came in the collection so beautiful you guys i really i feel like sometimes when there's a whole neutral collection like there's always going to be a few that are like eh, maybe not so flattering but i felt like all of these were extremely flattering um they all had really really good formulas too so um this one is called biscuit and this was on my pinky if anything was unflattering i would definitely say it was this one the rest looked amazing but i felt like this looked good like i would totally wear it um and it had a really nice formula two coats to get opaque and then on my ring finger is going to be kalua this i felt like gave me mannequin hands um very elegant look if you're not familiar with what mannequin hands are basically the polish matches your skin so much that your hands look like a mannequin have you guys ever seen the movie mannequin um it's an 80s movie it has um oh my goodness from sex in the city kim cattrall and then it has is the guy david spade no not david spade let me look it up I always start talking about stuff and then I don't know the answer to what I'm even trying to explain to you. Andrew McCarthy is in it. Um, let me show you guys a little picture and then maybe it will like bring back some memories. So that's the picture for the movie. <laughs> um, anyway, there's a guy in the movie named Hollywood. I love him. Uh, it's a really, really, really good movie. And Sophia from the Golden Girls, I don't know her real name. She's in the movie as well. But anyway, 
totally off topic, but this gave me what I felt like was mannequin hands. Um, it's a very elegant look. Your hands look like mannequins. You're just kind of like, and, um, I loved it. I'm not always a neutral person. I do prefer my brights, like I do tell you guys. But sometimes, like, if you have something going on, like, if I had an interview, I would totally wear this. And it would be, like, bam. Totally chic. Um, like, this polish would get you the job. So, again, great formula. Too close to get opaque on this. Really, really pretty. On my middle finger, I was wearing Remington. So, Zoya polishes are supposed to be after names. Would you name your daughter Remington? Cause I would not, I don't have any daughters, but I know I would not do Remington. Um, I feel like this is really gorgeous and I feel like this is a touch on the grandma side, which you guys know I'm obsessed with a grandma polish. Uh, it just has a little hint of that like mauviness of a grandma. Great formula on this one, almost a one coater. Um, I really enjoyed this on my skin tone as well. I just think it was extremely, extremely flattering. I feel like these colors are extremely flattering to a ton of skin tones, like the grandma shade. Um, all the grandmas were in the 80s and 90s, I feel like, and so, um, like, grandmas knew what was up, and I really, really enjoyed this one. Then on my pointer, I had on Constance. This was so pretty, you guys. I feel like it was really beautiful. I really enjoy this sort of, like, um, grayed out neutral purple. I feel like it's just a very beautiful shade. Again, I feel like this shade is flattering to a lot of skin tones. Um, and I feel like it's a little bit edgy, like if you're not in the nail world, it's a little bit eye-catching of a shade. Um, and again, great formula on this one as well. And then this one was so good. This is Ophelia. This is like the darkest one. It's definitely a dark brown. I don't think it be can be mistaken for black at all. Um, but it sort of had like a little bit of a gray tone to it. And you guys, oh, so good. I was obsessed. Two coats on this to get opaque. Again, this is another one that I think can be very chic in the fall, especially on shorter nails. I feel like darker colors on shorter nails just say chic to me. Um, but I feel also like it's a little bit edgy if you're outside of the nail world. Um, and like attention getting and so I just really enjoyed this and then I topped them all with this beautiful topper which is Bonnie and um, it was really good it looked beautiful over all the polishes um, I think this would be beautiful over black it's just really really pretty it kind of has like some gold sparkly glitters in various sizes and like a little bit of a pink shimmer it's really gorgeous though um, so overall, Azoya Cafe Creams, I give them two thumbs up. I just, I know that they've been done and I get it. And I know if like you're really into polish, sometimes you're like bored and you're like, I don't, I don't want what's been done. This has been done. But um, they were done really well. That's what I'll say. They were done really well. I really personally enjoyed them. Um, if you are into like neutrals and nudes and stuff like that, I would definitely check these out if you have not already because um, they were amazing formulas. Like if you're new to polish collecting, all that stuff. Zoya had a 70% off Black Friday sale. Did you guys order anything from that? Um, I was going to order Remove and then I just didn't. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get me a bunch of big bottles of Remove and I just, I never got around to it. I didn't do it. But um, I didn't pick up any polishes just because um, I've been getting PR for Zoya for a while. So all the new releases I get. And then um, like older shades, I kind of feel like I have what I like. And I feel like I kind of neglect my Zoya's a little bit anyway. So I was just like, yeah, no, I think I'll just pass. Um, but let me know if you guys picked up anything because I did see a lot of people chattering about the sale. So I just wondered what you guys picked up and what you were interested in. Then me and my... Um, nail gal pals did a um, epic twinning with wildflower lacquers lick rust so beautiful so beautiful um, it's so glowy it's so shifty it's like a very beautiful pretty ugly color it's sort of like green and then it shifts to like a copper and a gold um so good you guys this was just something that i like every time i would look down at my nails i was just like oh this is so pretty um when i would be driving i'd be like this is so pretty <laughs> um if people probably saw me like this looking at my hands thinking you know like i'm insane but i don't even care because it was that good had a great formula as well practically a one coater i was worried this was going to be a stainer because it did appear to be very very pigmented like slug bug 2.0 which stained me like a mofo um but it did not i did not have any staining issues with this one 
Um, I also didn't have the chipping issues with this one that I had with Slugbug 2.0. I did do two coats. Um, I used the same top, top coat I used with Slugbug 2.0. And I was worried because it just seemed very like thicker, not thick, but like thicker and pigmented. And I was like, man, this is probably going to chip. But no, I ended up wearing this for probably a week with some tip wear. You know, I'm kind of hard on my hands, but oh, so good, you guys. This looked beautiful on everybody, too. Amy Sue wore it. Amy Murphy on Instagram wore it. Ebony wore it. Catalina wore it. It was good on everybody. If you have this and you have not worn it yet, I think this is the perfect time of the year. Maybe not December so much now that we're in December because it's kind of like festive holiday. But I think in January you could like totally whip this out and, and just be very happy for it. So loved it. Then V, your girl V, she was like, you need, need to get Essie Zangora Cardi on your nails. She was like, if you are a grandma polish lover and aficionado like you claim to be how have you not worn Essa Angora Cardi and I was like I don't know I've had it for a few years it's been on a few fall racks it's been on a few winter racks I like just never got around to it I have no idea why so for Thanksgiving um my nails were naked in the morning and I was just like okay I want to throw on something kind of quick because my parents were coming for me and I was like I gotta get out the door um and so I was like okay I need something kind of quick so I was like I'll do a cream because you know what it's like I told you guys, anytime I am unsure what to wear, it's going to be a cream and it's more than likely going to be a drugstore mainstream polish. Like I, I just, I'm, I'm a basic, I'm basic, I'm a basic B when it comes to polish. And so, um, I was like, I'm going to wear, um, Angora Cardi. So I put this on. Oh my gosh. Um, there's certain polishes that I feel like are called classics and this, is, in my opinion, is a cult classic. Like a lot of people talk about this polish, enjoy this polish, love this polish. And sometimes a cult classic lets me down. Like I'm like, everybody talks about this. I put it on and I'm like, mm, that's all right. But this, mm, that was not my reaction at all. I was just like, this is amazing. It was practically a one coater. I did do two coats just because I did have a little bit of um, bald spots and my nails were just a little bit longer. But the formula, I feel like I could literally paint my nails with this in a speeding vehicle with a blindfold and it would be perfection because the formula was that good. I'm giving myself way too much credit, but <laughs> the formula was really, really good. Um, so if you have this polish, you guys, and you have not put it on your nails and you are literally a crazy person like I have been, get it out. Maybe not now for December again, like I said, but maybe in January put it on the nails and wait to be mesmerized because that is what happened. I was obsessed. It's an obsession. I'm currently working on a top grandma polishes video. I have a bunch of polishes sitting right here in front of me that I'm going to talk and film on. Um, but this will be on the list. Just that's a spoiler alert. This is just, oh, V knows me so well. <laughs> I actually put it on and I was like, oh my gosh, V, you're so right. This was amazing. And, um, so good. Don't wait. If you love grandma polishes like I do, you need to get this. If you don't have it, if you do have it, wear it. You will not be disappointed. And then I had like two or three nail breaks. Like I had one not on my swatching hand, right? So I was like, okay, I could file that down. I could live with that. Usually I don't care to do that because I just have, I don't like having different length nails. Um, but I thought, okay, I'll live with it. I have some swatching left to do. Um, but then... The nail gods were mad at me and I think I broke two nails on my non-swatching hand or on my actual swatching hand and I was like, really? And I don't even know how I did it is the worst part. Like I literally looked down and I was like, oh, my whole nail is broken off. At least when you know how you do it or like you do it doing something good, it's not so bad, but like you literally are just like, where did my nail go? Um, I feel like ever since I have had my hysterectomy, um, for the last two years, I have extremely dry skin I have um, dry hair and I have dry nails. Um, and I, when I did my hysterectomy, I did keep my ovaries. This is probably TMI, totally off subject, but I did keep my ovaries. So I, I think there is some hormone fluctuation, but you know, like I'm not in menopause or anything. And so I don't know what about that did this, but I have not been able to like clear it up. I literally on my legs and my body skin, I use um, body oil. And then on top of that, I use the aquifer, um, 
the aqua it's like lard we call it manteca in spanish or that's what we call it for my family i don't know what y'all call it but it's literally like a lard like you get it out it's like literal lard and then you just like slather it all over yourself um i can put both of those on in the morning and by the afternoon my skin is like a snake i drink a ton of water i don't know what the deal is um with my hair i do a lot of conditioning i know i started bleaching it so i'm like oh that could be part of it too but with my nails i just i don't know i i um oil i moisturize i cuticle remove like i literally do everything i am supposed to do and my nails are just straight up brittle like i I love long nails and I'm just like, maybe I need to just be a short nail person because I literally cannot keep a long nail to save my life. So anyway, um, I broke three nails back to back to back to back. And um, so then I was like, well, since my nails are short, I'm going to go for something sort of like dark, vampy and chic. And so this was on my fall rack and this is Simple Colors Opening Night. It's a really beautiful like deep teal with some shimmer. And I really liked this polish. I thought it was really pretty, but it did stain my nails. And so for that reason, I think I will de-stash this because I think I do have other similar shades that do not stain. You know, this isn't um, anything completely groundbreaking and I probably have um, a couple of other polishes similar to this and some other brands. So I'm probably gonna let this go. But on short nails, this color was so chic, you guys. I just felt very chic, very vampy, a little bit grungy. Um, I really did it. I was I was feeling it. I was I was feeling the vibes. And so um that is the last polish I wore for the month of November. I'm currently naked right now. Um I broke another nail <laughs> on my non-swatching hand and I was just like, "Oh my gosh." So I think I'm going to file everything down just to match because like it really bothers me to have different shaped nails. Um but that is it for this video. Do you guys have any of the polishes I talked about? Um, did you like anything I wore in particular? Do you have Estes Angora Cardi? Did you pick up anything from the Zoya 70% off sale? Um, did you buy the Zoya Cafe Creams? What did you think? Let's talk all things polishes in the comments down below. And if you guys like this video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.